A single variable data table is great, but what happens if we're worried both about interest rates and what our repayment period is? Maybe we can get a loan for 120 months or 360 months. We actually want to compare all those options. So you can do it with data tables. I'm just going to delete this. So now you need to set it up for a column of input cells here, the interest charge. And above it and to the right, I'm going to put my repayment months. So I'm going to say, let's try 120 months, 180, 240, and 360. These are inputs. So I'm going to just go and make them blue. And now the output cell has to be here above this column input because there's only one cell now unfortunately unlike the single variable data table I can only have one output per table if I want to test this one I have to then create a new table once I've done that I highlight the table as well making sure I include the outputs and the inputs I go to data what if analysis data table now it's asking for the row input cells so there's the row and the column input cells, there's the column. So the row, we can see it's the repayment periods in months. I'm going to say that's where Excel must go and look at it. And the columns, it's the interest rates. And when I say OK, you'll see it runs through. And it tells me what will the monthly repayment be at 120 months at 8%. It's 13,300. Let's just test it. 120 months, 8%, 13,346. So if we go back to 240, 10%, you'll see there's 240, 10%, 10,615. Similar to the single variable table, this, if you set the your formula options as automatic, will automatically calculate. So for example, maybe this 120 is unrealistic, but maybe we can somehow get a 420 month loan. When I type 420 there, these numbers change to reflect this calculation. So we could build a new calculation, or if I want to now check what the total interest is, I can just go to that cell, say equals, click in there, and you'll see all of these change now to now reflect what does the new output look like at all these various combinations. And again, I can play with these details. Just something to be careful of. If you do want to create a new table, I can go here. Sorry, before I do that, just have a look at what's in here. You'll see there are some formulas in here with little squiggly brackets. If I go and I say copy and I'm now going to paste it over here. When I come here, you'll notice that those formulas aren't there. So if you copy an area with a data table, you have to reset it up. So for example, I need to go and say that must equal to that cell. And then I need to highlight the area and actually go through the process again to actually make this work. So the row input cells is here, the column is here. And you'll see now it actually has the formulas in there. So copy paste effectively does a copy paste as values for the solution. You need to reset it up. So this is just useful so you can at least get the structure set up.